Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create this custom tracker in the top left that you can customize to look however you want it to. So to start off, what I'm going to do is come down to the bottom left in the content drawer. I'm going to right click and just make a new folder. We're going to call it Trackers Custom. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it that. Go into it. And then once you're in that folder you just created, right click and you want to create a user interface and then widget blueprint. User widget. Let's call this one playtime because this one we want it to be showing a custom playtime. So we're going to do playtime UI. And I'm going to double click to go into it. Once you went into it, it should look something just like this. Come over to the left and drag in a canvas panel and then go back to the left and drag in the overlay. Now, once you've dragged in the overlay, you want to come up to the top right here, go to anchors and click centered. And then the size is going to be 550 by 180 sorry i just put in 1800 by 180 and then the position is going to be zero and zero next make sure that the alignment is both 0.5 and 0.5 and that should put it right dead in the center of our canvas next we need a custom graphic for our custom tracker so i'm going to go to photoshop and create that now as you can see i'm in photoshop and then you want to do the exact same size as in the tracker so you're going to put 550 by 180 and then the resolution should be 300 and just click create and that should create a new canvas for you you want to just make sure to fit the screen and zoom out a little bit just so you can see so now we're going to create a custom shape so i'm going to grab this rectangle here and then come up you can already see that the curved edge is already 20. i want to make it like 25 so it's a little bit better and then i'm just going to drag the shape onto the screen just like that now that i've done that i'm going to change the color I'm gonna change it, let's say, let's, let's do black. Actually, instead of black, we're gonna do red. And then we're gonna come down to the bottom right and click stroke. And this is gonna add a stroke to our shape. So I'm gonna make the color black and then just make it a little bit tinier, just like that. Now, if there's a background, make sure just delete it and get rid of it because you do want this image to be a PNG. Now, since this is a custom tracker and it's for playtime, I want to have a clock icon right here so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go over to fortnite.gg slash assets. You can see it right here. And I just simply looked up clock. You can see there's a bunch of different icons you can choose from. I find this one to be the best looking. So I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to download the white one. Once I've downloaded it, I'm just going to simply drag it onto my Photoshop file. Now that I've dragged it in, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller, bring it to the left like that. I'd say I want to add another stroke just so it pops out. You can do just like that. Make sure that's aligned in the middle. Just want to make sure the shape's aligned in the middle as well. That is, make sure this is aligned again. Just like that. So now that we have our custom tracker design completed, you can just come up to the top left and click export and then save for web so you can see i'm in here now make sure that this jpeg is png 24 and then just save it and save it and name it however you like so i'm now back in uefn i'm going to go to my content drawer and just click import and i'm going to import that graphic that i just exported from photoshop so now that it's imported into my content drawer i can simply just drag it out and adjust the size to fill in this rectangle so as you can see is now within this rectangle and the settings that I used was scale 17 by 15. So X was 17, Y was 15. And then the translation was X 262 and then the Y was 76. Now make sure you do compile it and save it just so if your UEFN crashes, everything saves. Next, what we're going to do is that we actually need the text. So I'm just going to come back up to the top left here and grab UEFN text block. Just drag it out onto our canvas. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the outline size a bit. You can see that's a bit too much. Let's do around five. That looks about good. And then we just got to go through the settings and adjust where it's located. Okay, so if you scroll down to the bottom and go to translation, once again, you can move it. So what we're going to do, we're going to move it down because we want to tell the players what this tracker is for. Let's put the size back down to 30. And then up here under content, you can see text, and this is where you can change the text. 
So what I'm going to do is play time. Did not spell that correctly, like usual. Play time. So now the players know that what this thing is, the tracker, is play time. I'm just going to adjust the, the location of it again. And then what we can simply do is just click on it. Control C and Control V to copy and paste it. Go back down. And then we, what we could do is bring it down. And then we can describe what the player will be earning. So you can do something like play for 30 min or huge reward. Something like that. And then what you can also do is click the enter, hold shift and enter key to bring the text down like this. And then obviously the size is too large. So we can lower it. I think probably 20 will be good. Yeah. And then we also want to change the outline because you can see that's too thick. Let's try three. Yeah, that's good. And then we can probably bring it down a bit more. So it looks a little bit better. You can probably do the same for the top as well. Just like that. So now you have a custom tracker that tells the player what this tracker is actually used for. But now we actually need to add the number that will change depending on how many minutes they have played. So now that we've done that, what we can do again is just copy and paste this playtime and then just drag it to the right using this transform. Because now this is going to be the number that changes depending on how many minutes each player has played. So we can just bring it down once again. The outline I feel is a bit too much. Just put it to three. The size we need to make a little bit bigger as well. So we'll do 40. And then the text, say you want 30 minutes playtime. What you can do is do slash 30, just like that. Now let's make it a little bit bigger. We can probably do like 47. Yeah, that looks about right. Go back down and just align it in the middle like that. We'll bring it over to the right more like that. And then once again, we can copy and paste this 30 that we just did. Bring it over to the left. We're going to change the text to just 30. And then we just got to align it with the slash of the other text. So we're going to bring it over to the right and align it just like this. I'm struggling. There we go. Just like that. So now you can see that our custom tracker is complete, but now we actually have to connect it so that the tracker shows the correct numbers. So now for this number to actually change, depending on what the tracker's values actually are, I'm going to come down to the bottom here at view bindings, click add view model. Something should pop up when it loads. Yep. Then what you want to click is device tracker view model. Select that, click select, and then you can close at the top right. Open back up view bindings, add widget text block. Once you've done that, come into here to the no field selected, click conversion functions, and then come all the way down to the bottom to two text integer. Click that and click select. Once you've done that, come to text block and then click text, select. And then come down to value, click this link, bind this art argument to a property. Click this, go to tracker, and then click value, select. And then all you got to do is compile and then save at the bottom right. Now you have fully set this up. So now all you got to do is X out of it. Go back to your island. Go down, go down to your content drawer and look up the tracker device. This one right here. This is what the tracker looks like. Next, what you want to do, since this tracker for us is playtime, you want to come to stat to track and change it to playtime elapsed. Then we're going to change it to 30 because you want it to have 30 minutes. And then after the 30 minutes, the tracker completes. The rest of the settings are pretty good. But if you do want to use persistence, what this does is that if a player completes the tracker, if they leave the match and join back up, the tracker will already be completed. But if you want the tracker to always reset every time they leave and join back, make sure that use persistence is off. Now, the last setting you got to do in this is just come all the way to the top. Go to HUD widget where it says widget underscore tracker underscore default. Click on this and then you'll see your playtime UI or whatever you named that custom UI that you made. Just click on that. Make sure you save. And now I'm going to launch the session and show you guys how it looks in game. As you guys can see, I've now loaded up and you can see at the top left that my custom playtime tracker that I added 
is in the top left. Now you can see that the zero is pretty far away from the 30, but the reason why that's happening is because when the when it gets to double digits, that's when it'll fill in that extra space. Or else if we just did one and then put it right beside the slash, the backslash, then what would happen is that the numbers would overlap. Now I'm going to wait and show you guys that it does work when it goes up to one. There you go. The number just went up to one because we just played one minute. Now, say you want to do this exact same thing, but for eliminations. I'm just going to end game and just go back to my UEFN. Now, the only thing you really got to change, say, like I said, you want to do eliminations, just go to stat to track and change it to eliminations. And then just go back to your UI. You can either just edit this UI or you can duplicate and make a new UI. Just for this example, I'm just going to edit it. So I can just go here and do eliminations, right? Eliminations. And then we can change the text to get 30 elims for huge reward like that. Once again, I'm going to shift enter. So it puts the text below. I'm going to compile it and save it. And like I said, make sure that in the tracker you have eliminations. And if you want it to do also count for non-player eliminations, click that as well. And I'm going to push changes and show you guys that it does work for eliminations as well. It's just started. I'm going to show you guys that the eliminations do work. You can see that the tracker did update. It says eliminations get three elims for huge reward. Now, if I kill the sentry, it should go up one like it just did. If I kill him again, it will keep on going up. And then if I get up to 30 eliminations, like past 30 eliminations, the tracker will then disappear and complete. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's tutorial. If you guys did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on what tutorial you'd like to see next. Also, please make sure to join my Discord. The link to that is down in the description. It'll be really appreciated. Also, please make sure to go down in the description and also check out my pay hip. I sell a bunch of stuff on there and it does support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.